Welcome to the SCRIF, the Special Communications RAP Integration Facility. We support the integration of communication systems engineered and designed by the Special Communications Mission Solutions, SCMS, division at NOC AD Wolf. Our mission as a division is to enable the warfighter by providing best value, full spectrum C5 ISR engineering. This means we support command control, communications, computers, combat systems, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance from requirements definition through sustainment. Our cradle-to-grave systems engineering approach ensures interoperability, supportability, and connectivity among field equipment. The backbone of SCMS and SCRIF was built on engineering and manufacturing of various ground mobile communication system suites from smaller manned pack systems to large RV-style mobile command centers. Over the last 12 years, we have applied the skills and expertise from our ground mobile systems to grow our support to naval aviation. Initial tasking started with some quick reaction manufacturing of metal brackets and cables, which has grown to full enhancement kits ready for integration on various aircrafts. One of our SCRIF projects is the Unified Command Suite, or UCS vehicle. The UCS is a mobile communications platform that acts as a command and control hub, giving the warfighter communication interoperability with federal, state, local, and military emergency responders at any incident scene. UCS is continuously employed at over 3,000 events annually, including natural disasters, high-profile political, cultural, and athletic events, and in other high-threat situations. The UCS consists of a combination of commercial and existing government off-the-shelf communications equipment to provide the full range of communications necessary to support missions. My name is Olivia Briscoe. I work down here on Webster Field as a project engineer, so my tasking is to be a test lead right now, which is helping the testing process go through all the different stages and making sure that everything is up to our requirements that we have set from our sponsors, as well as building the equipment, which is something that I do enjoy. Here at Script, we fully integrate these vehicles, meaning we build all of the components of mobile communication systems. One small part of integration includes the creation of the cable harnesses and metalwork assemblies that are incorporated into the vehicle. First we build the cables, cutting it to the exact length and label each end with an identifier code and where it connects. The cable then gets stripped, contact pins get installed, pins are inserted into the connector and back shell is used to close the cable. Next we move to metalwork, which includes the assembly of multiple metalwork pieces such as a shelf bracket, a shelf plate, hardware, or cable tie-downs. Then, we package all of the hardware. This includes the parts and pieces that make up the assembly. Finally, we create the drawing package and work instructions that will be used to install the kit assembly into the vehicle. A few other highlights here at the SCRIF are, our aviation labs support NOC AD and NAVAIR to apply our mobile communication expertise and provide upgrade kits that support fleet readiness. We use new and existing technology, such as our fiber optic lab, braiding machines, laser markers and cutter, specialized tooling, and production boards to ensure cable bifurcation accuracy. Our fiber optic lab was tasked to improve manufacturing lead time, quick response time to the needs of the E6B community, and reduce costs. Vendor lead times for the custom tactical fiber optic cable harnesses were ranging from six to seven months. Our in-house fiber capability provides skilled technicians ready to quickly repair and return fiber optic cables back so the fleet within a few days. In conjunction with trained and skilled technicians, the lab was staged with equipment to automate the manufacturing processes. Systems integration includes installing the kits into the vehicle such as Humvee or MRAP to complete testing. The radio frequency sweeps equipment power, radio transmission network, and satellite connectivity. It's then our job to troubleshoot and repair before delivering a final product. So my internship has helped me for the career that I'm in now by giving me the chance to work with the contractors to build the trucks and learning how that process works, how long it takes to do something. The advice I would give someone who's thinking about taking a career in STEM is to talk to as many people in that career field as you can. They might be able to give you an insight into something that you've never thought of before. Also, don't be afraid that when you do start your career in STEM, don't be afraid to ask questions. These guys have been working for years and they know you're not gonna know everything. It, it was hard for me to get to that point. Um, but ask them questions, get as much knowledge, and don't be afraid to speak up because you might bring something to the table that they've never thought of before. We hope you enjoyed this tour of SCRIF, Special Communications Rapid Integration Facility, Division here at Wolf.
We take pride in our mission to support the warfighter and increase their capabilities to be successful. I'm Ellen Trevetnik, the NOC AD Strategic Education Office Team Lead. We hope you enjoyed this video. Throughout this virtual tour, you've heard from participants in the Engineer and Scientist Development Program, or ESDP. To learn more about the Engineer and Scientist Development Program, please visit the website shown on the screen, or you're welcome to submit your resume. Thank you.